All right, here we are back with the LM334 constant current source. Um, I could have used that, or I could use the one I built based on an LM317. Nonetheless, these are valuable for two reasons, component testing and sensors. Here I'm going to focus on component testing. Here I'm testing a Zener diode. I want to read exactly what the Zener voltage is on it. So when I apply power, I find out that this is around 4.6 volt Zener. And this assures at around 23, 24 milliamps, there will be no damage to the Zener. And it will also protect you if it happens to be a shorted Zener, it won't damage the uh, power supply or the rest of the circuit. So you can use an LM334 or you can use a LM317. This one's set up for around, oh, I don't know, 24 milliamps. And this one happens to be 23 based on a 2.7 ohm resistor. Another thing you might want to check using this source are LEDs. What is your actual voltage drop across an LED? Particularly if you forward bias it. Okay, this is an ultraviolet LED. The forward voltage drop at 23 milliamps is 3.36 volts. If you're using a red LED, they usually come out about 2.1 and so forth. It's good to know this if you're doing circuit design. So the point here is using a constant current source in order to test Zeners or LEDs or other devices. Note that if you're testing a Zener diode, the input voltage has to be higher by at least two volts than the Zener diode you're checking. So if you're trying to check a, for example, a 24 volt Zener diode, you're going to need an input power supply of 26, 27 volts. The LM334 and LM317 go up to about 40 volts. I know the I know it's 40 volts for the LM334. So keep that in mind and this is a safe way to use a current source to check Zeners, LEDs and other solid state parts without damaging them. All right, here's a picture of the actual circuit you saw in the video. In fact, this is a slide taken from the video. This is a voltmeter, and here is a Zener diode under test. And all I'm doing is using this constant current source. Here's an LM334, a 2N3906, and a PNP another PNP transistor. That can, by changing this one resistor right here, I can control the current through the constant current source. And this allows me to safely check my Zener diodes, LEDs, and get accurate voltage readings across them. With an LED, you would let it be forward biased. So, and if you really wanted to measure what is the actual voltage drop at a known current for a particular device. Here is the actual test circuit. If this looks familiar, it should be because I used it to control current through optocoupler LEDs. Again, I'm using an LM334 whose current value I see is set by the value of R set. Again, the formula is 64 millivolts divided by R set. If R set is 3.3 ohms, you'll get 19 milliamps. At 2.7, about 24. And if it's at 1, you'll get 64 milliamps. Um, you might want to use 64 milliamps for a higher watt 
Zener diodes such as a um, 5 watt Zener, they do have those out there. Or you might want that higher current and you'll place the, in the case of a Zener diode, you'll reverse connect it to test a Zener, you'll forward connect to, t to test a light emitting diode. If you have high powered LEDs, and you're curious, for example, um, whether they produce the same brightness. You have this fixed volt. You have this uh, fixed IC at say 64 milliamps, and you can con compare the voltage drop and the brightness of your light emitting diodes if you need to do that. So this is a handy, easy to use test circuit. This circuit should also look familiar. I'm using an LM317 as a uh, constant current source. And that's determined by 1.25 volts divided by R. If R is 100 ohms, you get 12.5 milliamps. If it's 47 ohms, you get, what is it, 20... 19, 20 milliamps, whatever. Your current is set strictly by the value of R divided into 1.25. Works the same as the other above circuit. You have a constant current source. Connect your Zener diode as shown. Measure the voltage and you're ready to go. One thing note that the voltage input on both of these circuits is limited to about 35 volts because that's the maximum voltage that can be handled by an LM317 or an LM334. So that completes this simple test circuit if you've got a use for it. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.